What analogy, analogy can we draw between the Freemasons and Al Masih al Dajjal? The Freemasonry movement has its origins and its roots in ancient Israel and in the Old Testament. Hmm? <coughs> a lot of the symbols which are used by the Freemasonry and a lot of the beliefs in the Freemasonry system comes out of the ancient scriptures, ancient Jewish scriptures. But the Jews have transformed the Freemasonry movement to be an international movement, not an exclusively Jewish movement. So that the link between Freemasonry and Judaism no longer exists today in the popular consciousness. So a Prime Minister of Australia can be a Freemason, yeah? And a Prime Minister of Britain, who is not a Jew, can be a Freemason. The reason why they have done that is so that they can use this movement, the Freemasonry movement, as a front through which they could pursue their objectives without allowing themselves to be identified as the actor. Global transnational corporation. What you have with a corporation is you have a headquarters somewhere in the world and then in each country you have subsidiary companies of that headquarters, that central point. And all the subsidiaries in the world carry out the policy of the central point. Well, what these Illuminati hybrid family networks have done is create exactly the same, but instead of companies, they are secret society networks. So you've got the center of the web in Europe, for historical reasons, uh, at operational level anyway, people at places like London, not the British government, the secret society center in London, in um, Rome is another one, the Roman church, Rome and, and other points in Europe. And then in each country, you have families from the network in those countries whose job it is, is to run the networks that control that country's business, banking, politics, media, all of it. And so what you have is from this central point in Europe, the center of the web, all these different places and countries all over the world then impose on their country what is being dictated here. And that's why as I travel around the world, I see the same things being introduced in different countries at the same time, overwhelmingly justified by the same excuses. It's all a global uh, network. It can be symbolized too as a, a web, like I say, with the Rothschilds real close to the spider and all these different strands on the web are different secret societies, different semi-secret societies, transnational corporations and all the rest of it. So when you see all these different names of these corporations that dominate uh, the world in so many ways and the pharmaceutical cartel and the oil cartel and all the rest of it, the biotech cartel, they're all different names or different masks on the same one face. And so you have this structure where Outside of visible light, you have the reptilian control system comes down through the Illuminati families and they control the people in power to push the world in a certain direction. Another way of looking at it here. You see, all these different people, these, these fight among themselves and all the rest of it, though if it gets out of hand, they get sorted. So these sit on the top of all these different countries. They control these different um, areas of their societies and the people um, are then played off against each other. These buggers don't go to war, they tell these buggers to go to war. And if we stop going to bloody war, game over. But we do. And at the top of this pyramid of manipulation is a group, an elite, who really pulled the strings, which uh, researchers know as the Illuminati, which is like Latin, as I understand it, for the illuminated ones. It's a name that goes back thousands of years. And if you think about it, everything, every structure in our world, uh, from a small business to a secret society, is based on a pyramid. A pyramid situation in which those at the top of the pyramid, say the top of a business, they know the whole agenda of that business, exactly where it's going, and what the whole game plan of that business is. The further you come down the levels, if you like, within that business, the less those people know about the big picture. They only know about their part in it. 
And this is how the secret societies work. On the lower levels of initiation, for instance, in the Freemasons, they haven't got a clue what the whole organization is being used for and uh, infiltrated to achieve by those at the higher level. They only know their part in it. I mean, organizations like the CIA and uh, other intelligence agencies, they work on something called compartmentalization, which is exactly the same. Those at the top of the agency know what the game plan is and what is uh, the direction that they wish to go. Those lower down in the agency only know their part in it. And many people within this uh, situation they genuinely believe that what they're doing is good for the world. But they don't know what they're doing uh, or how what they're doing fits in with what they're doing, fits in with what they're doing, and other people who also don't know the big game plan. And when you fit the bits together, then you see it's anything but positive. If this was a conspiracy involving enormous numbers of people, it wouldn't work. Someone would spill the beans years ago. A very tiny number of people who know the real game plan. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders. Inshallah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.